a really cool tour of a Class C RV right now. Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave. Welcome back. I'm the RV Dummy, and right in back of me happens to be Sirony. It's our Class B Pleasureway XL TS. Yoko and I absolutely love Sirony, but we're camping with a couple of friends today, and they've got a, a brand new Class C, which I've got to tell you is really, really cool, and they're kind enough, um, Jim and Andrea are kind enough to um, take us on a little tour of their rig. So let's, without further ado, let's get right into it. Come on, Jim and Andrea. Okay, you got Jim and Andrea here, and congratulations on your fairly new rig here. Tell us a little bit about it. It's a 2019 Integra Odyssey. It's a Class C RV. Now, you guys used to have a B, and we're not going to talk about what you like better, but I, I know by the smiles, I can tell by the smiles on your face, you're loving the Class C. So can, yeah, we, get a, can we get a little tour? Sure. Yeah. Andrew, you're going to show us around? Yes, I am. Come on in. I love our awning. We have the lighting truck, so at night it lights up. We have outside speakers. And one of my favorite things is in here we have a shelf which has connections for cable and TV. So if we, if we were to want to watch TV outside, we can watch TV. Plenty of storage in this bin. It does shift, no. That is one <laughs> of the things I've learned. Things shift as you travel. We'll need that for later. So, come on in. And who's this? This is Puppy Jax. Jax. Jax is going to help take come us on, to the tour also. You can go in. All right, you cannot go in, Jim. Well, why don't you, you two leave? Oh, he'll follow you. Come Jack's will lead the way. Watch the leash. There's the air kicking in. Ooh. First, cool I gotta here. show you my overhead bed up top here. It's great. I love my view at my huge window. And I have an electronic shade that comes down. So if it's too sunny, I can put the shade down and block the sun out. Wow. So there's outlets. Um, so. And for anybody that can't really see, this bed is very large. It's very, I mean, it's a nice, nice size. It's very, not, very yeah. comfortable. It's not one of those smaller beds that's used a lot of times frequently up on top of the cab in the Class C's. This is, this is huge. Yeah. And then the big screen TV up there as well. Wow. Yep. Very, very cool. Okay. Then you come over here to our dinette. And this table actually can shift down and the cushions go over and makes another. It's a smaller bed, but it's good for kids if you're traveling with grandkids or something like that. Overhead storage, lights underneath, the nice big, I love the big window for looking out when we're sitting and having our dinner. Um, storage under both the seats. Can you pick, is it easy to pick one up and just show us? Yeah, I can show you that. It's very easy. You it's just easy, it's easy take to do. the cushions down, flip the cushion up, oh. and Oh, storage that's, underneath, that's so that's where I storage. keep all, all my all my chairs, beautiful. which is nice. Beautiful. So, storage under both of those seats. Then we come over to the kitchen area here. We have a double sink, but we keep we use this for countertop. But underneath, I have a dish pan for drying dishes. We have a three burner stove, Ooh, nice. and I keep that covered up. Some people can have an oven under here, but we opt to have more storage for things because you can never run out of storage. Um, and then we have a, up top, we have a convection microwave. Beautiful. Storage up above. We also have ducted air conditioning, which is very important. Not all RVs have that, but that way it gets the air to the back of the RV if, if we need it, which is great. So would you duct it is better than just having one unit that just kind of throws air If you just had out. one unit, you'd only have air here. With a ducted, it gets to the back, it gets it gets throughout the whole camper, which is really nice. Beautiful. And did we tell everybody what size this is, how many feet long it is? Yeah, 25 it's foot. 25 foot, okay. 25 right. foot. So you need the ducts because otherwise, um, you know, it's, yeah, only one area is going to be cold. Right. If you want, when you first come in, you can flip a little switch here, and that directs all the air downwards. If you want to just cool this area first, then once this area is cool, you close those ducts, and then it goes through the ducts to the rest of the camper. Great, what's next? Pantry. We have pantry, top and bottom. So we have lot, lot, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, you got lots that of storage. That is nice size. Look at that, that's so, all these shelves here. 
You just got to make sure that you have stuff. I mean, this is as big as a pantry in, in my home. Yep. You just got to be careful because stuff shoves, does shift. So you, we try to like pack things so that the heavier stuff is towards the front. So when you shift forward, the heavier stuff always goes toward, towards the front. And we turn around this way. We have a great size refrigerator, which my husband loves because it fits his case of beer right <laughs> on the shelf there. It's a lot of storage room. And there, it, it's like as large as a, as a home refrigerator, yeah, basically. Runs on propane or gas uh -huh. or electric and nice size freezer also, which is nice. Uh, filled with ice cream bars. <laughs> very, most, very nice. most important thing. <laughs> then if, if we here. turn around here, we got the bedroom. It's a queen size bed, but a short queen. So it's not quite as long as a regular queen. With storage up above. We also have a nice big closet here for it's coats got his and suits things. and ties and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got new additional drawers down below. Now this is also a, uh, a slide out. So um, right. when the right. when the slide comes in, the whole wall comes forward to about about here. So you can't really sleep in the bed when the slide is in. It really has to be out. And then we also have extra storage under the foot of the bed. Wow. So yeah, lots and lots of storage and a TV back here as well. Uh huh. Nice size. So, and then we have, lastly, we have our bathroom. We got a, a nice size shower, which temporarily is being used for storage of a <laughs> cornhole game. Um, and we, have a, is... and we have a window in the bathroom, which is very oh. rare for campers to have this in the bathroom. This is a, I mean, I know my viewers are not going to be able to Get an idea. It's hard to tell on the video, but this is a a nice sized bathroom. I mean, like a full shower where you can stand up, and not only that, a, a full like a toilet and a, and a vanity and sink where you can just. There's a lot of room in here. And it's a porcelain toilet. A lot of porcelain. the RVs have plastic. plastic. That's a porcelain toilet. Wow. Which is nice. This is really really nice. So, and that's our and anything, home away from home. Anything else we missed, guys? I think we got it's it all. On, on the, I think we got all the inside here, which is great. Well. Thanks for the tour and thanks for being. And we're, um, Jim, you and I are going to come back on a separate video. We're going to do some RV talk and we're going to really get into some of the nitty gritty, yes. and yeah. some some down and dirty stuff that um, you know. We're going to talk. We're going to we're going to yeah. we're going to yeah, get deep. Gonna, are you ready? To it. Yeah, okay. yep, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I hope you enjoy that. It was very interesting, and there's definitely a tremendous difference between our Class B and their Class C. There are pros and cons of each. Um, Jim and I are going to actually get on and do a separate video about. Um, class B versus Class C. Jim, um, I've only owned Class Bs. He's owned both. So we're going to talk about the pros, the cons, the differences, and maybe which one is right for you. So be sure to check that one out. Until next time. By the way, if you have not subscribed yet, that's what that button is for right there. Press subscribe. Until next time, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Love you. I really do. Talk to you later. <laughs>